So I have a theory about why law enforcement is being so aggressive with the Native Americans and progressives at Standing Rock. Hear me out. Now, one of the flags, one of the many flags that you see at Standing Rock is that of AIM, the American Indian Movement. Now, historically, AIM was a civil rights organization and continues to be one. But if you study the Pine Ridge issues of the 1970s, late 1960s, early 1970s, there was a man there named Dick Wilson, and he had goons there that basically did his bidding. And the corruption was so bad, state-sponsored corruption was so bad, that after exhausting legal, nonviolent, peaceful means, it got to the point where there was a siege at Wounded Knee. You look at the Black Panthers. The Black Panthers, they had soup kitchens, they had schools. They exhausted the legal, peaceful, unarmed means. You look at the Puerto Rican Freedom Fighters. They exhausted the legal, nonviolent, pacific means. Now, none of these groups necessarily ever engaged in violence. Some may have, others may not have. Some may have only used their right to bear arms. But the point is, is that they were pushed to the limit. Their communities were pushed to the limit. Injustice and corruption was so grave and so blatant and backed by the state that there weren't a lot of options left. And I think today, law enforcement, the security thugs, the powers that be, don't know what to do with the movement at Standing Rock because it is inherently peaceful, will always be peaceful, will always be nonviolent. Could it be that law enforcement is trying to instigate something? Could it be that possibly they would like to see AIM retaliate? I don't know. But they do know, they do know that AIM are warriors. They do know that AIM will not stand by and watch elders get beaten. They do know that AIM is a true civil rights organization with discipline in their ranks. However, as much as law enforcement tries to instigate, like they did in Seattle in 1999, like they did in Ferguson, like they did in Baltimore, as much as they instigate, I have all the confidence in the world that the water protectors will not react violently, will not break the law, will not use violence, will not even use their Second Amendment right to bear arms. What they will do is a time-honored tradition of non-violent, passive, civil disobedience like that of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And you know what? They're going to win. We're going to win. The water is going to win.